Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make the face scrubby pattern. This is a free pattern on my blog, and I will go ahead and link the written pattern just in case you're interested in checking that out. But this is what the face scrubby looks like. It's a very simple pattern just using double crochets and single crochets and they work out pretty quickly as you can see right here. I love using these because they're reusable and you can just toss them right in the wash and dryer and they come out very nice. I particularly like the Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie yarn which I used in this pattern because when you wash them it still comes out pretty stretchy and the color doesn't fade like other cottons do so I highly recommend using this yarn. So let's get started on today's tutorial. For today's tutorial you're going to need an H5.0 millimeter crochet hook. The hook that I'm using today is the Clover Amore. I will go ahead and link below just in case you're interested in checking that out. And as I mentioned I'm using Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie and the color I'm using today is Loofah. You're only going to need a small amount of yarn in order to make these face scrubbies. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to need to make a slip knot. I will go ahead and link my video below just in case you're interested in learning how to make the slip knot. Okay, and that after your slip knot, you're going to make three chains. So yarn over your hook, pull through that loop on your hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now that you have your three chains, you're going, you're going to make 12 double crochets into that very first chain that you made. So to make a double crochet, you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that very first chain, yarn over, pull through, three loops remain on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So go ahead and make 11 more double crochets into that very first chain. Two, three, ten. So as you keep making them, your stitches are going to be going in a circle, so you might have to move your stitches over a little bit in order to get the full 12 stitches in there. So I just have two more to go. Okay, so that's what your first round is going to look like. To close the round, you're going to make a slip stitch into that very first double crochet that you made. So right here, you want to make a slip stitch to close and join your round. Now there's a little bit of a hole in the middle, so what I like to do is I like to pull on that tail a little bit, and that kind of closes things up. Also when you weave in your end at the very end of your pattern, you can see that the uh, hole kind of stays it stays closed. So then you're going to do chain two and in that very first stitch right here where the chain that you just made is you want to make one double crochet. Okay and then in each chain around you're going to make two double crochets and then when you get to the very end I'll show you how to end that. So make two double crochets in each stitch around. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of my round. So as you can see here, this is where you made your chains. So I'm going to go ahead and put one double crochet in that final 
area right there. And I do that because then I skip the, the chain two and I make a slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet. And then I kind of feel like that chain stitch kind of hides a little bit better. But that's just my personal preference when it comes to this pattern. Okay, so to make round three, you're going to do the same thing, chain two. And you're going to skip that very first stitch right here. And then that next stitch right over here, you're going to make two double crochets. One. And two. And in that next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet. So now you're going to repeat that all the way down, or all the way around rather, and I will show you how to end because there's going to be that stitch in that chain two area again. So continue making two double crochets in the next stitch, and then one double crochet in the following stitch. And I will meet up with you when I have finished the round. Okay, I am almost done with this round. So as I mentioned again, you have your chain two stitch right here. And then that very same stitch right there, I'm going to go ahead and make one double crochet. And again, that just helps to close everything up a little bit more and it kind of makes it a little bit neater. So skip the chain two right there and in the top of that double crochet from the beginning, you're going to make a slip stitch. Okay, so for the final round, you're going to make one chain and you're going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So in that very first stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to do that all the way around and join with the slip stitch at the end. I like making the single crochet around as kind of like a border and I feel like it creates a little bit of a neater edge and it just completes the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and make one single crochet in each chain or each stitch around and I will meet up with you at the very end. Okay, so I just finished the round and I did a slip stitch in order to join and close the round. So now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a little bit of a tail so you can weave that in. And I just wrap the yarn around my hook and pull through that final loop and tighten. And this is what your face scrubby is going to look like. So you want to weave in your ends and then your pattern is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this one where I already weaved in all my ends. And this is what the finished face scrubby is going to look like. So again, it's a very simple pattern and you can make a bunch of these and give them to your friends and family. And I really like them again because they're reusable and you can just toss them in the wash and they come out looking great. I plan on pairing these with my spa cloth pattern, which I will link below, and putting them together in a little spa basket and selling them at my next craft fair coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the face scrubby pattern. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see any future videos that I put out. And again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.